from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chiefs offense set to go. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. Now second and three. Throwing now is Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Now a second and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have the Chiefs' first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. And again, it's Mahomes. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Now here's Mahomes. And he is caught. And he will have the Chiefs first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And down he goes! They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt, and he missed it. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. In motion left is Wilson. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Off its HN. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Now they'll throw with Tagabailoa. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. We'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now Mahomes. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And they're going to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 35. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Mahomes now on first down. Pass incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. Here's second and ten. Now a toss left for Pacheco. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move. Seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. You know what I hated as a defensive back? Before. That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to block out the sun. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. 
call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. And he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Mahomes throw caught by Gray. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first down, Mahomes. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got a pick. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback so Miami coming out for their second drive they had to fumble on the last drive wound up leading to the opening touchdown now they'll try again here first and ten Motion man is Berrios. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw in that play with a loss. On second down, a run by a champ. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Tua sets up to pass it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. First catch there for Hill, and he's got a first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're... And this is caught at the 20! And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 
A big pickup of 38. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Yeah, that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Looking to pass. Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to lead to a third down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So fourth down, two of departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. The kick by Sanders is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes. But I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. But that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Here's Pacheco once again. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack, and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one, but occasionally the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off, but on that play, it had no chance. Throwing is Mahomes on third. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Seems to me that our friend, old momentum, <laughs> I think he's definitely changed teams in this game. It's only going to grow after that sack, and now, heck, they can get the ball back here and possibly even get the lead. On is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch, a signal for, and take it. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. Right. 
Tungavailoa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. Hand off to A-Chan to begin the drive. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That one too wide and incomplete. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And this one too low. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think he might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And it almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He is putting on a show in this second quarter, racking up the receiving yards as he has a first down. Up the middle, A-Chan. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Here's Tua. Caught by Wilson. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Tua looking to throw on third and two. Going right back to Wilson. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Well, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. George Karloftis able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Throwing on second and long. Tua. It'll go as a gain of four. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Tua. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted, 
They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Mahomes to throw on second down. Able to find Gray here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Mahomes now on first down. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And here comes Berrios. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Two are going to throw. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw again. Got a man. It's Barrios complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now second and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Hill diving, and he's got it full extension. What a catch. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. 
Two and now on first down. And Wilson with it, complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. From the gun, it's Tua. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Devon Achan as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now James returning. Here's James. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. Tua sets up to pass it. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in a double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. On first down, Tonga of Iloa. A quick slant to Hill. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Yeah. 
Tua setting up shop to throw again. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. This goes to the goal line. you got to be very careful with the offense called run rounds. When I call a pick, trying to screen you off from your coverage, does a nice job of avoiding that and helping force an incompletion. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run for it with a And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. On first down, back to HM. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Tua wants to throw it on second down. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. On play action, here's Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. They'll run. A chan And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Looking to pass. Tua. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So he stopped for no gain. And that will lead to a third and goal. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Two are going to keep it on the draw. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. So fourth down, two and departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. Sanders' kick is good, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Let's go, man. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And running with power here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. 
And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. A gain there of 21 yards. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pick up here for the first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. Now here's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 43 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Duke Riley drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Butker's kick here is good. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. 
What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Hey, he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Oh, they had a good chance to get off the field defensively there. If they could just wrap up, it's going to be a fourth down. But instead, they can't get him on the deck, and he allows them to pick up the first down. Now Achan on first and ten. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Again, it's a champ. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and seven. From midfield, here's Tua. It's brought in by Wilson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Meanwhile, to his throw, complete there to Barrios. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Tua. A throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. And when you're in a one score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. The offense on third down tonight, they've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him but the tight end drag route definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down now a throw to the end 
end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. A give left side. Here's a chance. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Devon Achan with his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Sanders on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 64 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Now, able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Mahomes firing complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 11 more on that one and another first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. His throw incomplete. 
The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Let's go now. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Sharp there with his feet gets him a little extra space and then drop just inside the 20. Five yards, now it's third and five. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Miami set to take over. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Here's Tua. And going deep for Hill. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Two are going to throw. Got a man. It's Barrios complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this will probably get away from them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That goal was well covered, just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. 
Tua setting up shop to throw again. And that is incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. On first down, Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Rice. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 18 more yards there and another first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open on the left side, this is Valdez Scantling. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and a yard. They go play fake, Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. If you're going to take a shot down, feel second and one is a perfect time to do it. If you're going to be in heavy run defense, you should have good windows to throw it downfield. And it looked like there was something there right after the snap, but the defense able to recover. Here now, third down. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. So a big one coming now for Harrison Butker. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. And now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you, but you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Here's first and 10. Ten. 
Throwing Tua. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. What do you think? Play this safe? Just worry about getting to OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's going to change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. They'll come up now on second down. Tua. A run straight ahead with Atrium. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. A-chan here. They stay on the ground. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Here comes second down at five. Here's Tua. It's incomplete. Couple of extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now Tua. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call. But for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> You, you were a fellow? Not a good one, let me tell you. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And they'll give this day champ. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. This is first and 10. On the handoff, it's a champ. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage? If they do pop one, it's going to go a long way. Yeah, I was going to say, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. So it all rests now on the right foot of Jason Sanders. This to almost certainly win the football game. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So he's able to come through in a hostile environment, and you'd have to imagine that's the game winner. Yeah, how about that? And the way that this game's gone, you think they really wanted to get to overtime and take their chances there? They wanted to get this thing done. When you're the visitor, you don't want to play into overtime. You want to knock it down, get it done, and go home.
After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And out come the Chiefs now. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last 